All right, good evening, everyone. We have another milestone uh, event. It's for the second anniversary of Marvel Strike Force. So I have, of course, looked into this and all these fantastic rewards. I gotta say, this is actually a really, really good event with a lot of good stuff to give. And it doesn't seem that difficult to attain at least a very good amount of these uh, items including you know elite uh, credits a lot of tier 14 mini uniques and orange superior gear uh, war credits to help you with sif uh, all the asgardians uh, you know five or ten shards of each of them all sorts of good stuff in in these milestones um, getting to the end is going to be quite a challenge to me um, you know the most important thing is getting all the mini uniques but man 200 of each of these catalysts is such a great reward I think it's really worth it to put in the time and effort to blitz and you know use your energy wisely and make it to the end so I made a calculator for this of course another spreadsheet so let's move on to that and let's talk about it so effectively every single credit you earn is worth one point towards these milestones so when we look at the milestones on the left here and look at the bottom let's scroll down to the bottom here it's 42,700 total points that are required and what that means is it's 26 orange orbs and plus one more but and actually if you just do a purple orb for your last one if you're really close you just bear you know, you're just sick of blitzing, you just want to not have to do that much more. Uh, just get 26 orange orbs and one purple orb, and that'll get you to the finish line. Uh, otherwise, you know, I mean, for me, I'm just going to pick orange orbs the entire time because of the benefits of the orb drops. However, and I did make a note up here, it really doesn't matter which orb you choose to hit these milestone targets. They're all worth exactly the same portion of points. It's just they cost different values. So if you're a really new player, the blue orbs might be more beneficial to you uh, or maybe purple orbs for somebody that's been playing a little while, but isn't quite to the tier 13, 14 key gear grind uh, that a lot of us later players are. So it just depends, um, but you're not penalized either way, which is great. Uh, it's just completely up to you, whichever orbs you want to choose. And um, really the calculator comes down to what level of effort you want to put in uh, for each of these yellow highlighted items here and how that feeds into your total overall score. So let me walk you through that. Um, I don't think we need to go over the rewards and everything. I did put columns in here for them, uh, but I think everybody knows there's some pretty great stuff in there. It's fun to look through and you should go check it out yourself. So the very first component I think that's most important is Blitz Wins. Uh, this is something that's really just about time and effort. And all you have to do is win the battle. You don't have to win at 8.3 or anything really tough. You can drop down to tier one, two, or three and just auto your entire roster of say, if you have you know, 120 characters, that's, that's a ton of free wins every day, right? Um, you can easily get, you know, 45, uh, points per win and let's say you know a rotation is 20 teams you know if you do that say three times a day for 60 uh, wins a day you're going to get 2700 points and over the 10 days that's actually 27,000 points well that's more than half of what you need for the entire milestone set at uh, 42,800 points is the minimum you need in order to complete it so um, that's pretty pretty big as a variable and it's something very easy that you can control yourself uh, the next thing is energy so um, you know if you're really diligent and you always have your energy used and never cap you'll get 288 per day uh, if you do the 80 uh, energy refills for free you'll get another 240 a day if you do your 50 core refreshes for 120 apiece you'll get 480 energy a day and in total that's 1008 energy so that'll give you 1,008 credits per day minimum. Um, if you're willing to spend on 100 core refreshes just to get a little bit more, save yourself a couple of blitz uh, wins, you could do that. And I've added this into the calculator. So these yellow highlighted columns are, are the ones that you want to update. Those cells will feed into these calculations and help you down here with the bottom calculators for the total results. If you're really, really uh, big, or really, really big spender, or you just want to farm a whole lot with energy, uh, do your 100 core refreshes, do 200 core refreshes. 
wishes. And if you'd like, you're welcome to do that. And you'll see here, it increases the totals. But if you, this is meant to be uh, on a per day basis, and then your total energy per day, and then how many credits that is over 10 days, if you're willing to spend it, you're welcome to. I personally am not, <laughs> and I'm not going to. Um, but hey, I'll put, I just put it in there in case anybody needs it. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing more credits from offers, uh, go ahead and just manually update it here. Uh, there's too many offers to calculate. I'm not going to put them all in here. And plus, there's going to be more throughout the 10 days. I mean, obviously, they, they're going to be, you know, trying to milk this as much as they can uh, for people that don't want to blitz all that much, which there are a lot of people that hate blitzing. Uh, I know I do. <laughs> but if I'm just autoing at tier three, I don't really care. So I will probably just do that as much as I can and hopefully get about 60 wins a day. Um, daily activities. So I thought they mentioned that arena and raid battles or something was going to feed into this for credits. Uh, so I put placeholders here. I don't know if that's going to happen. I haven't seen anything about it. Um, if it does, I'll fill it in and add it to the calculator. But uh, other than that, the only other thing I saw was the calendar credits that they give you. Uh, there will be an 800 drop twice throughout their 10 day calendar or whatever it is. Uh, so that's a free 1600 credits. Uh, but if they do add those, then we'll add them into the calculator for the arena and raid battles. But for now, it's just a solid 1600, which is another orange orb for free, which saves us some time in blitzing. Now, if we roll down here to projected progress, uh, credits needed for max milestones is 42,800. As I mentioned before, that's how you max out. Um, my projected blitz credits is derived from up here in this formula. So whatever you put in here for your average blitz wins a day, it should be a fairly easy one to calculate. Um, the next one is your projected energy, like I mentioned here. If you fill in these, uh, this will help you get your projected number of uh, credits produced from energy. The other thing is the offers. So if you add anything to the offers, it'll come down here. If you add anything to the arena raid battles, we'll we'll pull it in here. Like I said, I don't know when, when that's going to get updated or if it's going to actually be added as part of a credit source. But uh, if not, um, you know, we're just trying to get a projected total over 10 days. Um, Granted, you kind of have 10 and a half or 11 days because of the way that the, the resets work because it's 7 p.m. So it's technically 11 calendar days, but it's it's 10 total days of time, but it's technically 11 days within the game that you have potentially to use and do stuff. Um, so you may be able to get more energy and stuff. And yeah, it, it's, it's a little bit off, but I'm not going to try to calculate for that one half day extra that you get of, of you know, resets. But um, for any, uh, for all intents and purposes, um, you know, what we're trying to figure out is what's the delta. So if you need 42,800 credits and this is your current projection is 38,300 or 680, then you need another 4,100. So that's when you want to come up here and start uh, messing with this. Okay, what if I do 70 blitz wins a day? Well, then I'm at 380 and you'll see this turns green because now it's negative. That means I'm projected to score more points than what I need. Um, I'm going to leave it at 60 for now, and uh, we'll probably adjust that later in the week once we see where we're at. Uh, but then as you do go through it, if you want to do the actual tracking, uh, what you're going to want to do is go into your um, supply store, go to the orbs, and here, I'll flip back here real quick. Find the orb that you want to purchase, let's say this orange festival orb, and see how many credits do you have. Uh, left as on top of how far are you in the milestone. So as you get through this, so I'll put mine as 3805. Um, let's go back. 3805 down here, it'll update and say how many remaining points you need. So in case these estimates are off based on either slacking or maybe incorrect data or something, um, I just want to make sure that you have a catch all there to show what's your remainder. And so as long as you just keep your average point total or your actual point total updated, then this will always be accurate for your uh, remaining points needed and hopefully give you a better idea of what's required. So uh, let's go ahead and open a couple of these orange orbs real quick. I got two of them. Let's just see what's inside because I have no idea. It's, it's, I haven't even looked at it yet. So there's some orb fragments, some orange gear. Um, sure, I need all that stuff, I guess. Why not? And there's some Mega Orb Fragments, that's kind of cool. And some Shield Tech, and yeah, alright, not so bad. Um, 
yeah, for just blitzing a bunch, you know, it's just extra stuff on top of it. And then, of course, we go back in here and we start to claim our uh, milestone points. Now, here's another trick. Um, since today is the 240 energy per refresh day, uh, I don't want to grab these 50 energies yet. And the reason why is because I plan on using them on a day that I'm not using as much energy and have more stuff to farm. So I'm gonna leave these here in my milestones and claim them later. Uh, but as you can see there, I've already got the first nine down and that's just two orbs. But uh, also, as you see here, if we go back to the spreadsheet, on the left here is the incremental, how much it's jumping up per, uh, per level. And so you can see it gets over a thousand here at milestone 24 and it stays pretty high for a while. And it's pretty much uh, towards the end here, it's pretty much one orange orb almost per level. Um, so it's gonna require a lot of orbs, but uh, the cool thing is, is that it's relatively easy to control because winning blitz matches isn't that difficult and getting 45 credits per win is pretty good. Um, assuming they leave this up and give you credits for the Red Star and Premium Blitzes this Sunday, uh, I think this will be a fairly easy milestone to max for just about everybody. Uh, as long as you just play diligently, do your rotations, uh, even at low levels, and get it done. So this is a, a really simple calculator, but I just wanted to share it with the community, give you guys a chance to use it. If you see anything wrong with it or have any ideas for improvements, just let me know. Hit me up in Discord or uh, maybe on Reddit or something and let me know what we can do to make it better. But uh, yeah, it seems fairly easy. The rewards are very good. They will certainly help with building out your teams for Dark Dimension 3. And uh, that's primarily what I'm focusing on right now because I really need to improve my cosmic team before I get to those nodes. So uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope this helps some of you guys. Just take a copy of this spreadsheet, make it your own, and uh, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks for watching.